it's been a busy old year for indie gaming, and despite Christmas and the New Year being just around the corner, things aren't slowing down just yet. Coming up are a whole host of new indie gems to keep you busy over the festive period. Currently playing then is Pray for the Gods, an action adventure that's been in early access for nearly two years on Steam. And whilst I knew the devs were close to releasing the final game, I really wasn't expecting it so soon. But here it is, an early Christmas present you could say, with new content and quality of life features, and it's out not just on the PC, but the PS4, PS5 and the Xbox One too. Now having played over 25 hours of the game in early access on the PC, I can wholeheartedly recommend this one, particularly if you love Shadow of the Colossus. I'd say Pray for the Gods is the closest thing I've played to Team Ico's masterpiece. There are eight huge bosses to clamber around on and slay, as well as puzzle areas and collectibles to find. All this takes place in a sizeable open world icy wasteland. It's breathtaking stuff, and so impressive for a small indie team. Check it out now on PC and consoles. In the beginning, only chaos existed. Innumerable beings were conceived and began to destroy their own existence. Chaos cursed the leaders with immortality, obliging them to fight for eternity in the hope of maintaining the equilibrium that both were anxious to destroy. Eterna Noctis is a hand-drawn metroidvania on an epic scale. As the King of Darkness, you venture across 16 interconnected biomes in a journey to regain your powers and restore order to the world. Hollow Knight comparisons will be inevitable with this one. Combat feels similar, with timed attacks and learning enemy patterns required for success. There's even a deliberate frame slowdown when you get hit, similar to Team Cherry's masterpiece. What perhaps sets the game apart though is the tough as nails platforming segments similar to Celeste and Super Meat Boy. This is not an easy game and will require patience and precision. With its stunningly colourful graphics, epic boss fights and cinematic score, along with a huge game world, this really is a metroidvania you need to check out. Eternal Noctis is out now on the PC, PS4 and PS5 as well as Xbox consoles and it's due out on the Nintendo Switch in the new year. Approaching orbit. Scan's a no-go. Sure you want to drop here? Oh yeah. Already lacing up my boots back here. Up next, we have the first of two indies released this week by Thunderful Games. Developed by Image and Form, the people behind the SteamWorld series, the gunk marks their first venture into the world of 3D. The plot follows a space hauling duo called Rani and Bex, who land on a gunk infested planet looking for loot. The story of the gunk is engaging from the off, with solid voice acting from the two friends who communicate with each other remotely. Bex stays back in the hub area with the ship whilst Rani goes exploring. Now, the titular gunk is everywhere, blocking pathways and stopping things from growing. The player controls Rani, who wields a giant power glove that he calls the pumpkin. With this, he's able to suck up the goop and restore the land back to its former glory. Wielding the glove feels much like Nintendo's Luigi's Mansion, or even Super Mario Sunshine. It's an essential tool for solving many of the planet's environmental puzzles, and it can also be used to scan and log the vegetation you come across. As you delve deeper into the heart of the planet, you discover an ancient civilization, and perhaps get answers to where the gunk came from. Go on a massive cleaning spree now in the gunk on the PC and Xbox consoles, and Game Pass subscribers can play this one for free. Shovel Knight Pocket Dungeon is a super creative puzzle adventure mashup. Shovel through waves of foes, procure new equipment and battle bosses both familiar and new. The game takes inspiration from falling block puzzles like Tetris and Poyo Poyo, throws in a bit of Dig Dug and then adds dungeon crawling battles similar to say Crypt of the Necrodancer. You get to control more than 10 familiar heroes from the Shovel Knight universe, each with a unique power and playstyle and you can equip yourself on the fly with a treasure trove of items and equipment. With a single player adventure mode, a two player versus mode, a daily challenge and much more, Shovel Knight Pocket Dungeon is chock full of content. It's out now on the PC and all major consoles.
Thunderful Games' second indie release of the week is Fire Girl Hack and Splash Rescue, a firefighting roguelite with a simple premise. In each run, you enter a burning building and attempt to rescue civilians trapped inside. With your trusty water hose, you can extinguish fire monsters, clear a path, and even propel yourself upward using the hose like a jetpack. After each run, you can buy upgrades back at the fire station to give yourself a better chance of surviving the flames. Fire Girl features some lovely 2.5D perspective shifting pixel art, an addictive gameplay loop, and firefighting medals to win. It's out now on the PC and coming to all major consoles in the new year. Everybody died, but the fun is still dodging the bullet hell, and he is ass fish. You just died. How do you feel about it? This is the Crack Pet Show. And there's still more hidden indie gems worth a look, including The Crack Pet Show, a top-down roguelike that plays like a mashup of Happy Tree Friends and Enter the Gungeon. In this one, you play as a mutated animal on a quest for fame in a bizarre game show. It's a bullet hell, but not a twin-stick shooter. Instead, rather than direct your bullets, they target the closest enemy. And you can only shoot while standing still, something which forces tactical gameplay. The Crack Pet Show is out now in early access on Steam. After being trapped in a mysterious tower that feeds on people's dreams, Inner awakens and makes a bid for freedom. In a spire, Inner's tail, you control Inner through a series of beautiful environments, solving puzzles, manipulating objects, and meeting the tower's other dwellers. The game has a similar look to fellow platform Agree, with its striking colour palette and cinematic camera. If you like that game, Aspire is an easy recommendation. It's out now on the PC, Xbox, and also the Nintendo Switch. In Beacon, you play as an interstellar mercenary called Frey Akiyama. She's stuck in an endless search for a distress beacon after crash landing on an unknown planet. With your clone base stuck in an automatic printing cycle, death is only a minor setback. With each life or run, you'll not only scavenge for weapons and items to help you, you'll also be collecting DNA from the enemies you defeat. With lightning fast gameplay, permanent upgrades and a colourful art style, Beacon is sure to please fans of Hades and Enter the Gungeon. This one's been available for a while in early access, but this week it gets its full release. It's out on PC and the Xbox One. Film now, if puzzle games are your thing, well, Film Mechanism offers an intriguing gimmick. Press one button to start filming your interactions with a level, and another to restore to before you started recording. Everything resets, except you, making for some super brain conundrums. 200 of them to be exact. This got shadow dropped on the Nintendo Switch during Nintendo of Japan's Indie World Direct this week, and it's also out on Steam. We've also got Chameleon, a neon synth precision platformer featuring a rail grinding chameleon. With lots of side scrolling stages, tough collectibles, and a pulsating soundtrack, this is a budget indie well worth a look. It's cheap as chips, too, actually, cheaper than chips, as it's currently on sale on Steam for £1 or a couple of dollars. There's also Key, Maze of Illusions, a tough retro platformer with a colourful aesthetic. In this one you play as a green jelly baby type character called Zeno on a quest to rescue his family. 
avoid traps, battle enemies, and collect keys across over 30 rooms in this bite-sized indie, now available on Steam. And that's your lot. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to I Love Indies and hit that like button. You can also follow me on Twitter for curated Indies of the Day and some super giveaways. My Twitter handle is at Indies Love. And finally, one of my favourite indies of the year got shadow dropped on the Nintendo Switch this week during the Indie World Direct. Chicory, A Colourful Tale is a wonderful Zelda-like adventure featuring a dog with a magic paintbrush. For my full review of this one, check out the link in the description below. I'll be back in the new year with more indies of the week. Until then, I wish you all the best for the holidays. Keep loving indies.